welcome all my dear grade 8 elite students to today's video. This video is going to focus on learning objective 3 from part 1 where you are going to look at uh, conjunctions and disjunctions. Also you will find the truth values. So let's see what we are learning today in this video. In order to solve the questions that are to be solved in this video, we need the concept from lesson 12.2, uh, which was statements, conditionals and biconditionals. So the key concept for this video is going to be this using logic. So first you should know what is a statement. A statement is any sentence that is either true or false. You denote capital T for true and capital F for false, but not both. Now the truth value that you have to find is the truth or falsity of a statement. So you have to check whether the given statement is true or false and then accordingly write capital T or capital F for it. Then statements are often represented using letters small p and small q. So if you will see, in the question in the next slide you will see that small p and small q and small r denotes three statements which are given in the question okay and if a statement is represented by p then not p is the negation negation is like opposite of the statement the negation of a statement has opposite meaning as i already told you as well as the opposite truth value of the original statement so if the p statement for example is true then not P is going to be false. Just remember that. So the negation of a statement P is not P and it is denoted by a symbol. So not P can be written as this symbol followed by P. So if you see this symbol, remember it is negation and you have to do the opposite. Now two or more statements can be joined by the word and or or and these such statements are called compound statements which you will just see in some time and you have to write a compound statement for each conjunction or disjunction in the next slide. So you will use and for a conjunction and you will use for a conjunction the rule is this is very important uh, the conjunction is true only when both statements are true that means it can be written in this way p and q and it is written in this manner so p the symbol Q denotes conjunction, whereas a disjunction is denoted using OR. Remember, conjunction is AND, disjunction is OR, and it is definitely the opposite, so it will be P, the symbol Q, written in this way. A disjunction is true if at least one of the statement is true. So even if one is true, it is going to be true, and it is written in this way. So this is a key concept that we are going to be using for solving the question. Please learn and remember it so that you are able to solve the questions using logic correctly. Let's go to the questions now. Let's solve the questions now. So there are three statements given, the first, second and third denoted by P, Q and R. So first let's check whether these are true or false. Minus 3 and minus 2 will give you minus 5. So this is true. You can write capital T. Vertical angles are congruent. This is also true. And 2 plus 8 is 10, which is equal to 10, not greater than. So this is going to be false. So remember, your P statement is true. Your Q statement is also true. And your R statement is false. Let's now find P and Q. Remember, AND denotes conjunction. So this is going to be P conjunction Q. Now conjunction, as you see, is true only if both are true. So is P and Q true? Yes, both are true. So the answer for this is going to be true. The truth value is true. Let's go to this one now. P conjunction R. P is true and R is false. So the conjunction is going to be false. It will not be true. Because in order for it to be uh, true, it has to be, uh, both has to be true. But here only one is true, another is false. Next is disjunction. So Q and negation of R. So if R is false, negation of R is true. So Q is true and negation of R is also true. So therefore, if you see the disjunction, it is also going to be true. Let's do this. R, R is false. Q is true and you are calculating the uh, con uh, disjunction here. So disjunction is going to be true. Even if one is true, the answer for this is going to be true. Now this is negation of P and negation of Q along with the symbol conjunction. So negation of P is going to be false, negation of Q is also going to be false and together their um, conjunction is going to give you false. The final answer is false. 
Now negation of R is going to be true. Negation of P is also going to be is going to be false. And if you take its disjunction, it is going to be true. So this is how you solve the questions. Let's check the final answers in the next slide. As you see, these are now the correct answers for question one to six. Uh, we have calculated the truth values as per the explanation given to you. So please check your answers. So for each of these questions, the correct answers are given in pink. So that completes our learning objective three from part one, which was based on conjunction, disjunction and truth values. I hope you found the video useful. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss my new video, which will come for grade eight elite revision at 6 p.m. Until then, this is Ms. Ruchika signing off from today's video. See you in my next video. Bye bye.